this assignment, we are going to be comparing the average monthly temperature between two US cities. So in cell A1, we are going to type month. And then for the rest of row one, we need to put the rest of the month of the year, starting with January. So I'm gonna type in January. Now I could type in each month, or I could click on January, and then the bottom right corner, click on the blue box to copy. And we're gonna drag that along and we need to bring it all the way to cell M or column M and let go. And you'll see that brings us to December. If you go any further than that, it'll start back with January. So now I have month in A1 and then January through December from B, column B to column M. I also have attached um, a link to this website. This is where we're gonna get our data. The website is usclimatedata.com. And if you scroll down, you'll see a map of the United States. It's kind of hard to see because it's uh, pretty light color, but you can go ahead and click on any state. And our goal is to kind of compare two cities that have different types of climates. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on Michigan for my first city or for my first state. And then the city that I'm gonna use is Grand Rapids. So if I scroll down, now click on Grand Rapids. Now it shows me the average high temperature in degrees Fahrenheit and the average low. We're gonna use both of these. So we see January, February, March, April, May, all the way to June. And then it continues down here with July through December. So going back to my sheet in A2, I'm gonna type in Grand Rapids. And then I am going to, in parentheses, I'll put high to remind myself that that's gonna be the high temperatures. And then row three, I'll put Grand Rapids, Michigan and then low. And then again, uh, if I'm gonna want to make my column A a little bit wider so all my text fits. So now I'm gonna go through and I'm going to, looking off the sheet, type in the average high for each month. So for January it'd be 31, February it'd be 34. So I'll put 31 then 34. I'm gonna fill out the rest for Grand Rapids. So I went from January to June just for this example, but in yours, you're gonna go all the way to December. So now I need to find another city that I wanna use. So I'm gonna go back to my US climate data website, go back to my map, and I'm gonna pick another city that I've lived in before, and that city was in Arizona. So I'll click on the state of Arizona, and then the name of the city was Bullhead City. And now here I have my average highs and my average lows. So January was a high of 66, February a high of 71. So let me type in Bullhead City, Arizona, high, and then Bullhead City, Arizona, low. And I said again, that was a high of 66 and then a high of 71. So 66, 71. Now I'm gonna go ahead and fill in the rest up until June. Okay, so I have all of my average highs and average lows for two US cities up until June. And again, yours is gonna go all the way to December, but for this example, I'm stopping at June. So now we are going to graph these average temperatures. To graph them, I'm gonna click and drag starting in <clears throat> cell A1. And then I'm gonna to go to G5, but again, you should be going to M5 to get all of the months. After you have them all highlighted in that light blue color, we're gonna to go to insert chart. And the chart, we don't wanna use a column chart. We want to use the combo chart. So, excuse me, the line chart. So click on line chart. And you'll notice it shows our cities on the x-axis here and then our temperatures on the y-axis so we want the temperatures there but we don't want the cities here so if we scroll down we want to click switch rows and columns and when we do that we get our months on the bottom which we wanted and then our cities are up here showing what color represents each line so now we can start to edit our chart so we can double click on the title and we want to call it average monthly 
temperature comparison. And then you'll notice we don't have um, a Y axis or a label for a Y axis. So if we go over to chart and axis titles, right now it's on chart title. If we click on that, we can go to vertical axis title and chart or title text should say temperature and Fahrenheit. So you can put temperature in F. And then the X axis already has the month, so that one's fine. We're gonna change a few more things in our chart. So if you want, we can go ahead and click on chart style and add a background color to your chart. And then a couple things that we wanna do with the lines here, we have a lot of different colors. What I would like you to do is for each city, I want you to use the same color. So for right now, for Grand Rapids, Michigan, my high temperature is in blue. So for Grand Rapids, Michigan, I also wanna click on my, double click on the, the low temperature, which is this red line. I'm gonna change it. Let's make our lows a dotted line. And then I wanna change it to the same color that my high temperature was. So for Grand Rapids, I have blue now, and I, let's change our line thickness to four. So I have four, and then I'm gonna double click and just try to make sure this is the same color and make that four as well. So now for Bullhead City, I'll keep this yellow color, but for my low, I wanna make it yellow and dotted. So I'll double click on that and pick the different yellow. I'll get those to match in just a second. And then again, the line thickness is four for each one of them. So looking at my chart now, I have, oh, I forgot to make my low for Bullhead City dotted. So again, I can click on that instead of um, that type of line, I would like to dot it. So now looking at my chart, I have a solid line for the high temperature for that city, a dotted line for the low temperature or average temperature, and then again, solid for the next city and then dotted. We're now going to take our chart and we're gonna move it to its own sheet. So if you click on the three dots, we can go down to move to own sheet. And when you click on that, it'll create a new spreadsheet that says chart two. Um, also like for me, I think if you notice like your title is kind of tough to read, you can always go down there and you can change the color of that or make it bold. So it's easy to read. Same with um, your X axis and Y axis. If you think those are too tough to read, you can always increase the size of them or make them bold if you need to. Uh, so if I made mine, let's say 14 size font. It makes it just a little bit easier to read. I'll go 20. And then Y axis, again, 20. You don't have to do that, but just as you're creating charts, it might be easier for someone to, to view them. So again, yours should go January to December. Mine only goes January to June. The last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna rename our sheet. So we have sheet one, which has our spreadsheet information, and then chart two, our yours will probably say chart one, which has your chart. So let's just right click on it, and we're gonna rename this. We'll call it just temp sheet. And then I'm gonna rename this one, and it will say, temperature or temp, temp chart. So now I know when I click on these, this is gonna be the sheet that the spreadsheet that has all my data on it, and this is gonna be my chart. So if you have these two sheets and they are complete, you may go ahead and turn it in.